Uh, good morning everyone, my name is Pascal Doucette, Vice President of Sales for Doucette Machinery. Today we're going to review the hydraulic presses, uh, which is a standard product at Doucette. Uh, the hydraulic presses is made like a laminated uh, beams or similar product up to 12 inches wide by 36 inches in standard. The press we're looking at today has a customized opening of 48 inches. Uh, the, we have two versions of press, the one with 8 inches opening uh, width or 12 inches. That one is built for 12 inches. Now, at that point, when you need to adjust the press based on the width of material, uh, each back plate is adjustable. So I'm going to remove one back plate for you. As you could see, the press has different grooves, so every inch you can adjust. So if you're doing at 12 inches, you're going to be at that first position. And if you are doing, let's say, uh, six inches wide, you're going to be in the middle section there. Meaning, so the center of the push from the cylinder is going to be in the center of the lumber. Uh, hydraulic cylinder, they are four inches in diameter. Uh, the standard stroke for cylinder is four inches long. Uh, here we have a customized application where we have a 24 inches uh, stroke on the cylinder. Each cylinder can, is driven by the same hydraulic valve, but you have individual control for each cylinder if you wish to keep uh, some cylinder to come back in a later phase. Uh, like here, uh, when I'm going to run the pressure, we're going to see the first two center cylinder going down and then I, I will manually activate the side one. Um, we also have like the lateral uh, flattener. Uh, so it's a two-end activation. So basically, it's just to avoid the, 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 press, the pressing wood to come back toward the operator. Uh, depending on the material, it may not be required. Some people ask it for it, some other not. So, but it's not made to push the wood and flat it out. It's just to make avoiding like slight movement when you squeeze the glue. So let's activate the pressure and see how it looks. So as I mentioned, I only activate the two center cylinder to apply and start the glue squeezing process. And then from that point on, I'm going to activate the two other cylinders. So here we are at the end of the press. A uh, little detail I want to mention to you is we have three models. Uh, the one is a single side press, like the one we have today. We, we can have the double side press, like the A-shape. Uh, note like this press has been prepared to receive the hydraulic component on the second side, which is an option you can have on the single side. So at any time through the future, uh, you can decide to upgrade the second side. And also we have a, a four-sided uh, which is more like a, a rotating carousel where you got at that point four-sided rotating. <laughs> 